Well, the pandemic has affected the lives of almost everyone here in 2020, and for several Utah artists, capturing the coronavirus found its way into their work. Fox 13's Todd Tanner has the story. One of my heroes is Edward Manet, a French painter, and he said one must be of one's time and paint what one sees. So this uh, epidemic is, you know, history happening now. Randall Lake mixes past and present as easily as he mixes vivid colors. His take on the pandemic? The inspiration for this painting was Edvard Munch's The Scream. The central guy um, is screaming, you know, with his uh, hands on his ears. The background is loaded with symbolism. Those are all references to uh, other paintings. I've lost someone, everyone has lost someone to COVID. Heather Olson's ability to capture emotion. I initially just did that nurse putting on the gloves piece as um, kind of a beacon of hope. Also caught the attention of Intermountain Healthcare in Salt Lake City. They came to me for this. A commissioned painting that will hang in a hospital. A respiratory therapist and a nurse and a doctor and even a clinical worker. It became these kinds of conversations, right? Suddenly this is how we were connecting without masks, right? We were able, to, the, the only way was calling our friends. Instead of a soothing landscape, in 2020, Nathan Florence focused on the tools that facilitate communication and information. I've always loved those towers. I have a sort of a love-hate relationship with them because they're sort of these scars on the landscape, but they they make so much possible, and, and they're strangely beautiful. There's a slight sort of element of science fiction, dystopian <laughs> um, sort of feel to those towers. And I feel like, you know, that's how a lot of us are feeling right now anyway. I do work with a lot of dark subjects, but trying to find the light in that subject. Desiree Lee often juxtaposes humor and horror. So when a client commissioned an image capturing 2020. Kind of attack of the killer tomatoes, uh, but with a coronavirus instead of tomatoes. So you've got a giant virus, giant viruses attacking the city and buildings burning. And, you know, like we like we kind of feel right now. We're at a divide. We're at something that we haven't been at before. Michaela Crisman's self-portrait of 2020. You're never going to be able to build yourself the way you need to if you don't start from the beginning. This is my first year being a full-time artist and trying to dedicate myself to the craft. And so 2020, the year for that, maybe not. But at the same time, I think it challenged me and, it, and it's brought me to, I, mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. Since the pandemic, there have been no t no shows uh, at all. But for these artists, capturing what connects us all continues. Who knows what where our paintings will end up in a hundred years, you know? Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.